right, now that my kid can string a bunch of videos together, we can uh, do some other cool stuff. Sometimes there's things that just ain't long enough for a video in itself. So, I'm loading down here, getting some beams. Don't be these guys. Oh, turn the camera around. These guys got their boards out. Sometimes they don't even do that. And uh, they don't have their chains out. They don't have their binders. You're supposed to pull in here. They're going to throw the boards, the beams on, throw two chains, and get out of here. they got a chain up uh, yard. So they've had all this time sitting across the street staging. They've been in this line and still nothing. Let me show you. At least these guys have boards. Do you see any chains? No. So they'll wait till they get up there to dilly dally around and get them out of their hangers. Unlike yours truly, can you see in the mirror there? I got my binders hanging, chains are out. Uh, they're on the deck, the binders are hanging off the side, ready to go. I got my little ladder out, everything. So, don't be the guy that holds up the line for crying out loud. Let's see if you can, oh, these trucks that go all the way around the corner. In the mirror, can you see in there? Ooh, can't see. So, one of the reasons this line is so daggum slow, they pull in to load, they're not ready. I don't get it. They've been sitting around for an hour, twiddling their thumbs, watching TikTok, and uh, yeah, they can't get their deck ready, they can't get their chains out, they can't be ready to go so they don't hold the rest of us up. Little pet peeves, old school versus new school, I suppose. All right, we're going to move forward, so I'm going to click this off, and uh, we'll make another video when I get out. Uh, I got 50-footers. I got to tilt them pretty far forward because I got tarps on the deck. So I'll show you a little trick on how to do that, how to keep your tarps on the deck when you've got more beams than you got deck. Okay, so you don't have to try to wrestle them up on top and throw a strap just for them. little tricky trick I'll show you here. All right, y'all, we'll be back in a minute. All right, we're all loaded up. Let me let the air out of my seat like a Peterbilt driver. And we'll get out here and uh, show you what she looks like. Oh, here comes a large car with straight pipes. Hope you don't get me. Ah, oh. Just go back here and show you. They're not really tilted too far forward because I got I got these boards way back here. You gotta uh, use the slope of the trailer to your advantage, but basically got two two by fours or four by fours and a two by four. Hold on one dad gum second, super trucker. Alright, now that straight pipe stuff was cool when I was 20. But these are those boards I have nailed together from the other videos, but I got them sitting up so you can get the tarps under there. All right. These ain't going to go nowhere, trust me. So for you guys that got to have your tarps on your deck, little trick, use the back of this trailer to your advantage. Tonky strap down and ready for the trip to Ohio. And uh, as always, ratchet binders in the back and the front. Suck them beams together, and then I got my four snap binders. We'll back up and look at this. I think it actually is sitting about level. This worked out pretty good. So, got 50 footers on a 48, Roger, with a headboard. You guys are wondering, you can overhang five feet on a 48 footer, 53 feet worth of length. Oh, hold on. All right, someone driving by. Well, she's actually pretty level. She's still maybe tilted a hair towards the back even. Well, actually, no, it won't because I got the air out of the trailer. So when it airs up, it's going to lift that up. Be just about level. So anyways, I was saying uh, before that truck come by, 53 feet of total length. I'm going to overhang off the back five feet. A couple stages you need a flag after three feet, know your eggs. Where I'm going, five feet before you need a flag. All right, hold this up so you guys can see it. Of course, you ain't never seen the big new courtyard in Blyville. There you go, it's like a city unto itself. All right, off to Ohio. 
get brakes and stuff. Ryan told me they're doing... Oh, look at this. My freshly painted frame's all new core muddy. Gosh dang it. Anyways, DOT is going to be doing a blitz in May. And that's what they're checking. Wheel ends, brakes, things like that. So I'm glad I'm getting that taken care of. Alright y'all, gotta go trucking. And the wife's calling. God bless you. Well, good morning, y'all. Since we're stringing videos together, this one will go with it because it's the same load. I'll get out and show you. I've talked about snap binders. Of course, I've been using them for 30-some years. You know, I'm, I'm just thinking about even not using them anymore. Um, sometimes uh, the extra speed doesn't really gain you nothing. Let's get out and I'll show you why. Now I loaded this load here uh, oh, 500 miles ago and uh, checked them religiously all the way up here. In fact, I don't know, about 150 miles ago I got fuel and they were still tight. Spin this around. So, there's your ratchet binder good and tight. Snap binder. Chains loose. Loosened up. Didn't loosen up till after, you know, 350 miles. This one's also loose. The rest of them are good. So that little bit of speed has gained me nothing. Now I gotta get up there, get my breaker bar out, winch bar, tighten it back down, undo the bungee. Could have just used a ratchet binder. And a little bit of extra time it took me. Wouldn't amount it to a uh, diddly squat because now I'm going to be in it the same amount of time. So I got a, well, scale or no scale, you just don't go down the road like that. So I got to hop up there and put a half twitch, half twist to another link and snap it back. Uh, yeah, so so I say, you know, especially for you new guys, just don't even mess with the snap binders. Take it from an old hand. I'm about ready to just get rid of them. Just go to all ratchet binders. Or what I might actually do, they're a little bit expensive. They got some really cool ratchet binders. What takes the longest with the ratchet binders is getting the initial slack out of them. The actual tighten it up crank. It's not that much, it's just a few cranks, but, uh, you know, you got them all the way extended and they want to twist and turn on you when you're first trying to get it, you know, all the slack taken out. But they have some out and I've seen them around and I looked them up online. They're kind of expensive, but you know, it's a tax write-off, so it is what it is, but they have it where you put a drill on the end of it. And I think you can just tighten it with a drill, but it also has a handle for the last little bit. I may just invest in those, you know, uh, a good compromise and just ditch the, ditch the snap binders, uh, especially since I'm getting older. Had one pop me in the knee the other day and luckily my knee was far enough out of the way. It just grazed me, but it could have stinking shattered my kneecap. And I've never been hit in the face cause I'm really scared of them. So I keep my head out of the way, but, uh, Many, many a guys have been popped in the mouth and lost their teeth and everything else. So they're kind of dangerous to start with. So uh, my recommendation is if you're going to buy binders, don't even buy snap binders. If you're just starting out, get ratchet binders and don't mess with these. All right, y'all. God bless you. And we'll see you on the next video. Bye now.